five weeks out of my bikini climb down. Karen, stop trying to hide. Look, can we also just take a second? Look at the Charlotte Tilbury cream rummy. I want it for my birthday, please. Skinny! I just did a record 20 minutes getting ready thanks to these two! Got the Quigley Sorrel steak because it's named after my <laughs> Because she's solid. Look at these! <laughs> Delicious. We've just got in water and done our pie. We've done yoga. Feeling very zen and very calm on the beach in the bikini. Just chilling. But look how pretty this is. Oh. Oh. <laughs> 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 that thing ever do, you know? <laughs> Do you want to realize this? When they sit on the beach in the rain. When they sit on the beach in the rain to toast your birthday. Yay! Yay! So these ones threw me a surprise fire pit birthday. This is the result. I am so I went back to the elbow plant based yogurt, the soy plant with coconut, as I find it agrees with me better. Which is fine that lately I have been focusing more on like I need to get more protein, need to get more protein. And yeah, I was sticking to my calorie allowance, but then I was kind of like, hmm. You know what? I think I'm eating too much, so I've put the calories down and I'm kind of cutting. I'm still keeping my protein high, but I'm focusing calories are king at the minute. And I'm kind of just making sure I hit a protein goal and then relaxing my carbs and fats because I've just found as well that I was eating a wild lot of dairy and animal products and it's not good for the environment and it doesn't give you anything. So I made me a potato cake and it's the most delicious thing I've ever tried in my life. So in order to stop myself from eating it, I had to leave the house and go for a walk. So I've came to the beach to watch the sunset and look how amazing this is. This is where I live now. Lucky me. So Lisa has come to visit me in Port Stewart. Thanks doll. Oh, we're just having dinner at Harry Shack by the beach. It's so pretty. This is what it birthday looks like. Birthday dinner. Birthday dinner. Because you can't just have one birthday dinner. And I had a really crazy one with an ordered lobster. Yeah, baby. Voila. Voila. We've just had the most amazing dinner at Harry Shack and watched the sunset. Well, the sun wasn't there, it was too cloudy, so we just watched the sky get darker, but it was still delightful. And I'm like full of hair, and I just want to go to sleep. I said I'm not going to watch Love Island, but I won't even ask till Georgia leaves. <laughs> <laughs> I can see my old house from here! <laughs> Thank you, just be out there in bed. Woo! Evening, everyone. It is Thursday. No, it's Tuesday. I can't forget what day it is. It's Tuesday evening of week nine or eight. 
I've got 10 weeks to go. So, it. Anyway, it's July. And um, I'm just making myself some fish in the car today so I can have 200 grams of these bad boys and I'm gonna bake them in the oven and slather them in salt and vinegar. Then my cod coated in 20 grams of breadcrumbs with uh, salt and pepper. Take this piece of cod. And I would normally dip it in an egg first, but I don't have any eggs left. So just coating it in these breadcrumbs. Making chips, put your baby boy potatoes in a plastic bag with one spoonful of oil. That way you use this and season the life out of them. There we have them all seasoned. And then you just seal this bag and give it a shake. So it coats all the potatoes. Cod fillets and potatoes ready to go in the oven. Cod will need all of the potatoes, but I like the potatoes nice and crispy. 